Okay guys, uh, this video perhaps a little bit off topic, but nevertheless for anyone who is using uh, more than one camera, uh, using Atom Mini Pro or ISO, doesn't matter, and uh, you run into an issue but you're still filming with uh, a recording on all cameras, then you can uh, make it easier uh, on yourself in case in case you run into an issue and uh, what i'm talking about is actually footage uh, syncing so i purchased uh, this type of um, uh, remote control and uh, this remote control is happened to be uh, i picked it up on uh, on um, uh, eBay and make sure it's that type of a uh, uh, remote control it's a RMT 845 so this particular remote control as you can see has a time code button which is right here up here and uh, uh, I will show you what that does I have um, a 7s3 new camera here and uh, A7 III here. Uh, so if we turn it on, both cameras, right here, um, you can set up your cameras in such way that uh, they will run a time code on the bottom. You can see, I don't know, maybe you can see, but but you can see on both cameras there is a time code running and you can activate it in settings of these cameras. So um, basically, um, you can find out how to do that, but uh, you can see uh, that the, the time code is running on both cameras and, and with this remote control, you can, by pushing this button, which is a TC reset, you can see the time code has been reset on both cameras. Well, how, how do you tell uh, whether this time code is running in sync? Well, the only way to do this is to take a picture with your, you know, phone and uh, or another camera if you have it. And uh, once you take a picture, well, let's do that. So if you take a picture of both um, cameras, let me see, once you take a picture of both cameras, uh, you would be able to see if your time code is running in sync. Now that is the, the most economical method. I picked it up, this uh, remote control on eBay, I don't remember it was a brand new, but somebody was selling it like for five dollars or something like that and I and I picked it up and uh, you can actually control uh, those uh, Sony cameras especially with optical zoom you can activate the optical zoom remotely or using that particular uh, remote control but uh, uh, when you when you synchronize your both cameras using this time code uh, that uh, will help you uh, put uh, the footage onto your favorite editing workstation uh, and then you can obviously edit this footage using um, sync option. Uh, I know Premiere does it, I know uh, using Edius, Grass Valley Edius and, and that has that functionality and I'm sure others will have that as well. So uh, that is a really easy way to uh, quickly uh, synchronize your footage on uh, using several cameras and uh, it will save you a lot of time however if you're filming uh, if you did it one time uh, you reset the time code but your show uh, whatever you're doing is more than two and a half or three hours then uh, it may start going out of sync because it's just using uh, internal clock within a camera it doesn't have that crystal isolator clock that is very precise and uh, in that case if you have a break uh, during the show or whatnot then uh, you can do it one more time 
uh, time code reset and then you will have it no problem but if you do want to um, run it completely in sync uh, all day long then obviously you need to use uh, the other type of a uh, uh, sync generating um, uh, equipment uh, I you know I can show you I have a tentacle uh, which is uh, also a, a sync generator machine uh, and it'll it'll generate it for you you can place it on your camera and uh, plug into your camera um, audio port and uh, what it does it splits the audio giving you um, a scratch foot uh, audio footage and uh, on the other channel it'll have a uh, sync generating a uh, noise uh, so but you can still mm, use that for complete uh, in sync and you don't need to worry about resetting uh, but you you have to purchase uh, this type of a uh, um, sync generator uh, device so again uh, this is a little bit off topic but I just wanted to show you this footage um, and uh, how to uh, instantly create a syncing footage using just uh, a remote control so and that's pretty much it if you have any questions by all means uh, let me know and uh, I will tell you um, and give you some tips whatever to make it easier on yourself okay thanks a lot have a good day. Bye-bye.